Right now, I'm gonna be trying out Issy & Co's newest launch, which is yung Issy Mart nila na birthday collection. So, let's jump right into it. So right now, I'm gonna fill in my left kilay with the Issy & Co Brow Refiner in their newest shade na to. I noticed ko na yung applicator nila. Ay parang mas ano siya, mas matigas. Sina scratch niya a bit yung balat ko. Pero hindi naman gaano katindi kagaya nung sa Vice Cosmetics na spoolie. This one my light, very very mild scratching um, feeling. And yung ginagamit ko kasi guys na previous shade is yung shade na brown sa brow refiner nila. Yung shade na ash, hindi ko siya ginagamit kahit na black yung hair ko. Dahil parang ang intense ng pigment niya. Kaya, I'm so glad that Issy & Co. has this uh, shade na, yung shade na to. Hindi nagka-clump yung brow hairs ko with their formula. It's very flexible. Tapos natatakpan talaga yung mga sparse areas ng kilay ko. That's why, uh, this is my go-to gel kapag nag-procrastinate ako or kapag nagmabadali ako. So, and guys, tapos na ako magkilay. But, I have to do my eyeliner and mascara first because I feel like my look is not complete if I haven't done my eyes. So, hindi ito part ng review, hindi ito mga Issy & Co. products. But, I thought na gagawin ko nang sila on screen. So, in case na interested kayo malaman kung ano yung mga ginagamit ko for my eyes. So, napaka simple lang naman. And this is what I do for my everyday makeup look. So, first up is I apply my eyeliner. And my current favorite eyeliner right now is from Nichido, ayan. So, this is in the shade Hazelnut. So, ito yung dupe ko bale ng Vice Cosmetics and Unclots na soft brown eyeliner kasi hindi, parang hindi na available dahil limited edition lang po yung eyeliner nila na soft brown dun kay Mama Ann na collection. So, eto na yung dupe ko ngayon. Ina-apply ko lang siya dito sa dulo ng eyes ko. Hindi ko siya ina-apply all over my lash line for the reason na gusto kong maging Happy and wide yung mata ko. And what I do next is finiflick ko lang yung eyeliner para maging sharp yung wing sa dulo. And then also, I apply on the inner corner of my eyes. Then I curl my lashes with my Bokto Lash Curler. The reason why I like this curler a lot is it's made for Asian eyes, okay? It's a bit wide, therefore, hindi maipit yung lid small with this lash curler. And then, the current mascara that I have been loving is from K Palette. Ito yung one-day lash up nila na Silky Long Mascara. Gusto ko lately yung mga effect na hindi clumpy yung lashes. This can really give out that long, silky effect. That's why I'm going for this mascara lately. Ayan, guys. So, medyo buhay na yung face ko dahil nakapag eye makeup na ako. So, now, let's proceed to the creme blushes of Issy & Co. So, ang cute talaga ng, pag, ang, ng packaging nila. It's super duper cute. Ayan. So, ito yung Hydro Gloss nila. Creme blush, brow refiner, and lip mousse. I suggest if meron kayong napupusuan ng mga shades dito sa bagong release nila, then I recommend that i-check out nyo na agad-agad before you regret it. Yung ito, hindi ito limited edition. So, you can get this maybe next time if you want. Kasi hindi naman siya limited edition. Nandiyan lang siya. Pero yung tagal kong hindi nakapagkulat ng buhok. Finally, nakapagkulat na ako. Anyway, let's go for the creme blushes. So, yung bagong shades ay For Real and Crush. So, yung shade na For Real, guys, is a rosy toasted clay. And yung shade naman na Crush is a rose pink with gold shimmer. So, kagaya ng shade na Stunner. So, first, I'm gonna be swatching the shade For Real on my right cheek. Medyo kinapalan ko yung application. Alam mo, kasi madaming mga rose rose pinks na kasi in the market pero bihira yung rosy pink na hindi nagka-clash sa balat ng morena. Next is I am gonna be swatching naman yung shade na Crush. Ayan guys, so may difference talaga silang dalawa although of course may similarities because both of these shades ay may pagka, may rosy pigment in it but they have a slight slight difference. So eto si shade na For Real ay medyo a bit deep siya. And again, a little bit toasted compared sa other shade. And this one, actually, for now ha, mas bet ko to yung shade na crush. 
because I'm a little bit tired right now. I haven't been sleeping well. That's why mas naglilin na ako sa shade na to. Bakit? Because yung shade na crush is a little bit more vibrant and it brightens up my face and hindi niya ini-intensify yung pagod na features sa mukha ko. Compared dito sa shade na For Real, dahil it's a bit deeper, it kind of emphasizes the tired parts of my face, like yung eye bags ko, and all just the dull areas of my face. That's why for now, mas nagbili na ko sa shade na Crush. Next naman, I'm gonna be swatching their lip mousses, and they have two new shades. So we have Popular, which is a warm tone pinkish brown, and Totally naman, which is a warm rosy nude. For the lip mousse shades, gusto ko naman sila. They're pretty wearable. Although gusto ko yung shades na to, I just feel like I've seen these shades already sa mga ino-offer nila na shades sa lip mousse and their other lip products. I feel like kasi maka-pink si Issy and Co. Hindi ko alam. Pero madami talaga silang pink shades compared dun sa mga nudes, peaches. I just want to see more of those shades. Next naman, isa-swatch ko yung Hydro Glosses nila. And dito ako super excited because Issy and Co. did a super extreme close-up shot of the Hydro Glosses. And nakikita talaga yung texture sa new Hydro Gloss shades nila. And it really reminded me of confetti and yung Tim Hortons na birthday cake Tim bits. So, ang super cute lang talaga. Swatch na natin. So, yung two new shades nila for the Hydro Glosses ay Mirror Ball, which is a holographic disco ball, and So Fetch, which is a sparkling pink rosé. So, first, I'm gonna be swatching yung shade... Oops! First, I'm gonna be swatching yung shade na Mirror Ball. Yung shade na Mirror Ball, although meron siya mga glitter texture in it, hindi siya gaano ka dami talaga once applied on the lips. And it's really nice, I guess, for someone who likes clear glosses but wants to add a little bit of sugar in their gloss. So, this is for you. It's really, really cute. Hindi siya distracting na kind of uh, glitters on your lips. It's just chill. Maganda siya for the New Year's. Or, this is a good gift idea. Mm -hmm. Malapit na kasi Christmas. Kasi ang ganda ng packaging. You can buy these as, you know, your gift already for your loved ones, your girlfriend, whoever. Okay, now I'm gonna be swatching this shade So Fetch. Hello, ang ganda! I like this! <gasps> it's super cute! It, it's so fetch! Oh, gusto ko siya, guys! It's like I applied the universe on my lips. <laughs> Love it. Loves it. I love it. Mmm, loves. Yung shade naman na so fetch compared sa shade na mirror ball. Mas madami talaga siyang glitter na ma-apply on your lips. It's if masaya to, mas mas masaya to. So yung mirror ball dahil wala siyang pigment and clear lang siya, yung color lang na makikita ay yung natural lip color mo lang talaga. But if your lips are a bit pale like mine, it will add a little bit of healthy tint on your lips. And truly, this will elevate the fun vibe of your whole look. Gusto ko lang mag-shoutout guys sa mga brands na nagpadala ng PR nila sa akin aside sa Issy Co. First up is from The April Lab. So nagpadala yung The April Lab sa akin ng mga collagen packs nila. These are edible collagen packs. Ganito yung itchware nila and and hindi na sila kailangan i-mix with water. Diretso na lang sila ipapak. So, meron silang tatlong variants na binigay sa akin. So, meron Time Blast, which is their anti-aging na product. And 
ultra bright naman which is their whitening product and then yung super balanced naman is a beauty probiotic. Next naman is from Detail Cosmetics. So meron silang bagong launch which is their rose water face mist and 95% pure rose water daw siya. And yung rose water nila is derived from 95% pure damask rose water. So napaka fine ng mist ng product na to guys. Ayan. Mmm, it's super fine. Wait. Ayan. And ano siya, napaka bango niya. Although hindi artificial daw yung scent nila. It's um, from the rose itself. And yung scent niya ay napaka gentle to the nose. And it's like parang rosy, powdery yung amoy niya. Medyo may pagka vintage yung amoy niya din. It has that vibe. Last PR that I have here is from Sunny's Face. So thank you so much Sunny's Face for sending in this beautiful PR over. So this is their first ever skincare product and it's called Dream Cream. Like a glass of water for your skin. I'm gonna include this in one of my tutorials as well and gonna be sharing my thoughts of it soon. So yun guys, yung review and swatch part di ko ng bagong collection ng Issy and Co. Let me know the comment section below kung ano yung thoughts nyo regarding the new shades, ano yung gusto nyo kunin, and why. And also, if you wanna know my thoughts regarding sa mga bagong PR na pinadala sa akin, then subscribe na kayo sa channel ko and turn on the bell button para notified kayo whenever I have a new video. Just remember guys, no hate, just love.